it's going to be a full flight on our check-in. Let's see. The gate opens at 20 past 7. The gate opens, the boarding is 20.05. <laughs> it's boarding only at 20.05? <laughs> Maro. Yeah, it says the gate is open at 19.20, but the boarding... <laughs> Maro, did you screw up? <laughs> did you make us come all the way here for nothing? Well, we have about 45 minutes time to go. Yeah, let's go look at the aircraft. Now, this is a treat. You can see we're going to be flying with the uh, Orange KLML aircraft. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, I think it has a special name, but that is the orange one. Our gate is now open. I just made my way down to the, to the gate area information to ask for a business class upgrade. I have heard that one can get very reasonable prices. Yeah, but sometimes. Sometimes. But unfortunately that's not to be this evening, as the aircraft is absolutely fully booked right through. So we're all just waiting for boarding now. And on board we go. I'm ready to fly. Ready to fly. Ready to fly. That's for sure. Okay, good. Row 1 to 6, row 9 to 63. So we go straight. Now to the aircraft. It's pretty full, I can see. I'm just following Maro in. There's the orange of the orange pride aircraft, and we're on the left aisle, going down towards the bottom. What was our seat numbers? 59. How much? 59. 59. Hello. The lovely orange pride colors. Hey, Maro. <laughs> Business class looks awesome. Oh, tickets, yeah. It's looking like a nice interior. Mm. Lovely seats. It's not bad at all. Nice entertainment. Yeah, I didn't see that yet. There's a little bottleneck up ahead, so I'll take the time to have a look at the seats here. The laboratories. Hello there to you all. We are now at our seats. We had to cut our walk onto the plane a little bit shorter because there were a lot of people on board we had to go through and I would have had to blur every single face. There were so many people looking at the camera. So I turned it off until we got here to our seat. We are just settling in here, yep. looking at what movies are available. And as soon as we start to depart, we'll be back again. So I'll see you later. And actually, while there's still lights in the cabin, I can take the opportunity to show you the pillows and the blanket. That is, or the pillow, not the pillows, found on our seat. And it's this one-use pillow, like we get on all other flights. And the blue KLM blanket. Not even a fleece, but sort of a fabric with a KLM logo just over here. Quite rainy out there, so it's not going to be much of a takeoff view. Not sure how much you can see, but that's one Etihad Airways departing over there. Time on the trusty Pulsar is now 8:55. We were supposed to fly at 8:50. Seems that we're a little bit delayed. But on the positive side, it looks like we might might have a seat in the middle of us so that we have more space. Crossing fingers for that. One of the cabin crew members just passed out headsets to us. I think I'm gonna use my own headset. It is the type that can be used, so you can use your own mobile phone headsets here too. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening from the flight attendant captain. My name is Rafael Sennelite, welcome to your board to Boeing 207. Looks like we got the seat next to us. Destination Kuala Lumpur. Unfortunately now, 16 minutes behind schedule departure time. This is due to the weather. Driving time to the runway is a bit less than 10 minutes. 10 minutes to the runway? Quite a long taxi. 10 minutes to taxi to the runway. We think we have the seat to ourselves here in the middle. 
It's going to be bumpy for the first one and a half hours, he says. Yeah. How many minutes do we have to wait to leave? 15 minutes. 20 past, I think. 20 past, we'll be leaving. It's now 8 minutes past 9. Good news. The crew just got told to arm slides. That means the doors are shut and we have a seat to ourselves. For the first time, I think. What a lucky break. That's going to be awesome. And pushback has begun. Pushback has begun, but there's not much to see out there because of the rain on the window. Look at all this awesome leg room we're going to be having. My colleague for a semi today is Mr. Lee. I would like to welcome all of you on board of this KLM flight to the airport of Jakarta in Kuala Lumpur, 11 hours and 10 minutes. Yeah, the engines are starting up now. Listen to that engine. One KLM aircraft over there. So we're taxiing off to the runway now, which I said would take about 10 minutes to get to. Anyway, I forgot to show you our departure time. There's our route. Manuel just pulled my sleeve up over there from far away on the other chair. It's now 35 minutes past 9 in the evening and we're about to depart. Ladies and gentlemen, due to take off in ground conditions, we will now dim the cabin lights. Cabin lights are dimming. So it's our turn to head on to the runway now. So Swiss Air there next to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're on our way. So let me show you how that tray opens. I've never seen one like this. It's a very small one. There is a cup holder over here. It's a very small sliding tray table. Just received a nice bottle of water and a wet napkin. Here's the wet napkin. It's 
just going to open that up. Mano normally has troubles with these. Quite folded together napkin. Look at that. Always touch with the face. It smells nice and fresh. It's lovely. Always the face and then the hands. Really good, refreshing smell. Nice to have a bottle of water also. Just want to say, I have never ever been so comfortable in economy class. Nicely spread out legs. Oh, this is good. A big thumbs up from me here. I'm just going through the movie choices on this flight. You can say the choices are excellent. There are so many videos, movies to choose from. I'm not sure whether I'm going to watch this movie now, but I've chosen to see the Meg. I'll probably pause it when dinner comes. I've been wanting to see this movie for quite some time. Modern day Jaws. We have it in the Meg. It looks like we're somewhere over Poland and dinner is busy being served. Mara and I have the whole row rolled out in front of us. So our meal's just arrived. First of all, let's have a look at the drinks. I chose a white wine, the elements. South African wine. See here that we have a muffin. We've got a bun. A lovely looking salad over here. Maro's just opened this little set, that one there, which we're going to have a look at over here. It looks like cheese. Sauce for the salad. Balsamic vinegar, I can read. Omega light margarine and some biscuits. This meal's going to go down very well. Close a look at that. that. Very nice vinegar and a nice little set of biscuits, cheese, and butter. So now it's my turn to be filmed. Let me get this vinegar out. I'm definitely going to be sprinkling that over the salad. KLM is very good at packing their meals, they're very presentable. salad. Looks like those cheese balls. What do you call those cheese balls inside? Mozzarella. This bun here is cold. It's not a... Oh, actually, no. It's warm. Oh, oh, the heat came off the food here. So let me see how I'm going to tackle this one. You just twist it and... There we go. Lovely, works very well. Oh, look at that. Like a balsamic vinegar. Lovely, I'm dying to eat this. Nummy, nummy, nummy. Yeah, let me open the hot meal so we can have a look at that. Move some of this. There we have it, and this is a chicken chili soya bean something. Are you catching it, Mano? There we go. It's not the most exciting looking meal, but I'm so hungry I could eat a horse right now, so it's an excellent looking meal. We've got to show the cutlery. Nicely folded up in a napkin. Enjoy your meal, it says here. It's really nice packaging. Just open that up a little bit. Have a look at the knives and forks. Nicely packed. There we go. We have the knives and forks. Very hard plastic spoon. Maro's favorite. Toothpick. Just over there. And salt and pepper. 
Shall we dig in? Thank you. This extra table is really a bonus when we eat. And Maro's gonna eat. Bon appetit to you also. It's nice salad. Big salad too. I'm just eating the main course now. The chicken. There's a lot of rice. Tasty. Not the best. Not the best fried rice I ever had. But as I mentioned earlier, I'm as hungry as a horse, so I'll eat anything. I like it. I think the, the sauce is the sauce is nice and the chicken. Yeah. I think rice is okay also. I like it. Looks like it's cheese and cracker time over here. If I, if I can crack this open. Crackers and wine, as Mara was saying. Yes. Good. Tastes like a good Dutch Adam. I just had my cheese and took biscuits. Now it's time for my muffin. Look at that. No, I want my muffin now. Look at that. Look at the muffin compared to Maro's. So how many almond nuts I got. Look how many she got. Wow. No, no, where my nuts went. Taste this. It's okay. But just a normal muffin, as Maro says. Just finished the dinner. I didn't touch my wine at all, so I'll send that back. I think food was fine. Not the best airline meal I ever had. Shall I say not the best economy class meal I ever had? It was eatable. Mara's enjoying her wine there still. Asian, Asian. This was tasting like an Asian. Yeah, you liked it. Yeah, the sauce and chicken and the rice. Yeah. It wasn't the best I've had, but, but still, as I said, eatable. Dinner's done, so we're both going to carry on watching our movies now. I'm finding it a little bit cold on board. Mado's got a blanket around her, so I put my hood on my head, and that helps a lot. After a long sleep, woke up somewhere here. Not long now. Time to destination, 4 hours and 27 minutes flying at an altitude of over 10 kilometers, 10,370 meters, and our ground speed is 1,054 kilometers an hour. That's quite a speed. Hi then, welcome to a little laboratory tour here in the back of the KLM Boeing 777 toilets. We'll start off looking at the toilet just in front of me. Very standard, very refurbished plane. KLM triple seven. Look at the floor. It's a wooden look that we've seen on Thai Airways before. Check out our videos on Thai Airways by triple seven. As always, I like to see the toilet seat cover for hygiene. Tissues. I've been with my glasses on, so I can see some facial tissues. Baby changing table for those of you who are here with infants. Not worked. image of an aircraft, it's got a nice little touch. Turning around, have a look at the handle. Okay, some turbulence while you're out here. Two rolls of toilet paper. Cabin crew calling button. And so. And the water or the basin. Works 
by pressing the button, auto comes automatic, closes itself automatically. Also got for shavers, maybe a hair dryer, who knows, well, I don't think a hair dryer, but maybe for a shaver. And we have the lock. When you turn it that way, it locks and the light automatically goes on, an ashtray, and the traditional coat hanger. That concludes this tour of the lavatories. See you outside where I'll quickly show you the snacks available at the back of the aircraft. remembered that I've been sleeping so much that perhaps I should show the safety on board card for the 777-300 that we're flying on board at the moment. Hopefully you can see something. That's what the card looks like. Just doing it on my lap because the table in front of me or the chair is fully reclined. Let's also have a very quick look at the in-flight entertainment system. It's not going to be very detailed. It's categorized to put into movies, TV, music, games, kids, my flight, about KLM and shopping. Movies is a very good selection of movies. I think there were more than enough movies to watch. TV shows are also the normal top TV shows that you will see being served at the moment also. We have music selection of music for those who just want to hear some music and some games this aircraft doesn't have a joystick or controller so I suppose you control the games here on the screen kids section that's normally the movies and uh, games that are appropriate for kids my flight this is where you'll see all the gate information arrival information and the maps so you can follow your flight along the way We've been looking at the maps throughout the flight. A little bit of about KLM, telling a little bit about the airline, the lines they belong to, etc. And the shopping. There's always shopping. That tells a little bit about the duty-free items available for sale on board. But that concludes the in-flight entertainment system tour. And this is what it looks like on KLM. And as I mentioned, there's no joystick controller for this. But it does have a USB charger where I'm busy charging my USB. And the headphone jack fits your standard mobile phone headset too. So that means you can use your own. And one thing to note is the screen, you can move it in and out of the chair also. Time for another look out the window before breakfast is served. Busy flying over the Andaman Sea, I believe. One hour and 53 minutes left to go. At 946 kilometers an hour, at least the ground speed is that. Breakfast has just been served. A nice little bun here, warm bun, some fruit salad. Maro's sitting one seat away from me now because we have this space, so I'll just be showing it. Got some yogurt, nicely packed. water same Serbiet knife and fork set as we had for dinner nicely packed in the Serbiet and here we have a egg souffle mushroom with allergy information also on it our drinks also just arrived I chose to have um, water and uh, coffee which is very handy can have this table. Coffee's over here. Maro is over here. Both of us are hungry. Yeah, 
probably can't hear Maro because my microphone's right up here. I'm just gonna open the souffle and show what it what it looks like. Oh, it's I'm on a low carb diet, so I can't really eat. But maybe Maro, you can pull the cover there. Looking nice, souffle. Yeah, that'll be enjoyed. Fruit salad. I'll open that quickly. Freshly cut fruits. The yogurt. Looking good. Yeah. As yogurt, I think I'll put my my fruits into the. We go. Creative. I'm being creative. Maybe you taste the while I'm if, you're wonder, if you're wondering about that piece that dropped off on the tray, the fruit, no, I'm not going to eat it. Maybe I put too much fruit in. Mm. Very nice. Not yogurt. Is forcing me to taste the omelet now. Mm. So what was ma mushroom souffle? Mushroom souffle. This is really good. Oh. It's a very strong mushroom taste. Mm. Very rich mushroom. Very good. Actually, then I'm not just saying that. This is really good. I did that well. Oh, I missed the grape. Shall we eat? Yep. Maro's just preparing herself over there. Napkin and everything. Does anybody see a napkin over here? Baby just woke up. Stretching its vocals. Almost finished the eggs. I'm not going to eat that hash brown over there because I'm still on a low carb diet. But I must say, I think it's the best omelette I've had on an aircraft or on an airline before. Or omelette or scrambled egg. Very tasty. So, Maro, are you enjoying the scrambled egg as much as I did? It's very nice, really good. Probably the best breakfast. Yes, this scrambled egg. I even tried the other one, even I shouldn't. Mm, potato. Potato, hash brown. Nice. Very good. Thumbs up. As you can see, we've both just finished our breakfast, so I think it's a good opportunity for me to show you the quick in flight magazine. The Holland Herald, the in-flight magazine of KLM. We'll skim through that very quickly and then I'll show you the duty-free magazine. And then you should have an idea of what they look like. As I always say, a lot of pictures, articles, fleet information, destination information in these magazines. And those of you who would like to keep it as a souvenir, you can do it as this is a free copy to keep as are most airline magazines I've seen, in-flight magazines. But that was Holland Herald. Next up we have the Sky High duty-free magazine. We're just going to skim that through very quickly also. These are the things you can buy on board. And that's a selection of perfumes, electronics, jewelry, clothing, fashion accessories, sunglasses. It's quite a good selection on board things to buy. We seldom buy anything as we don't think it's that cheap compared to compared to home, at least not always. That was that. That was the Duty Free magazine and the in-flight magazine. Here we have the famous buffet. KLM has a style. I like it very much. It's a picture on the back. 
Huh? Oh, the same thing. Yeah, that that house. That's a fancy bar, eh? Yeah. Almost makes you want to use it. <laughs> no. I'm totally opposite. You don't want to use it. It's so cute. Looks like we're over Thailand now. We're starting to see some islands. Nice looking beach down there. in Phuket now. Unfortunately we can't see anything because we're on the right hand side of the plane. I think you'll be able to see the Phuket on the left side of the plane. But there's one hour and seven minutes left to go now. Some Phuket or something down there below us. Some more islands down there. Not quite sure what they called. I'm sure we'll find out when we look at Google Earth back home. But close to an island called Kua, something like that anyway. 52 minutes left to go. Maro's just putting her shoes on. It's always the challenge on these flights. The feet tend to swell up. Yeah. This map view is actually the cockpit view. Quite an interesting way to look at the map. Not long to go now. Nice weather. Just coming over a big island here. I'm guessing that might be Penang. Not sure. According to the map, we're close to Georgetown. Mara and I both agree that was Penang we just passed by. Now we're coming over to the Malaysian mainland, we believe. Traffic situation between 25 and 45 minutes. Nice. Lights, no events. Thank you. 32 with some clouds. They're coming towards some clouds here now. We treated it to some really lovely views. Feel that river winding down there. Taking a little bit right here. Yeah? Feel that we've started our downward descent. Seatbelts and it just came on. Been an okay flight. Not too bad. That was a lovely flight. Yeah. We were lucky with an extra seat here between us. Yes, that's the first time we've tried that. Yeah. I can hear the landing gear, the flaps are going out now, so I'm going to look out the window again. Final approach. Moscow over there in the distance. All those palms and palm plantations. Almost down now. Good. 
Toyota aircraft over there in Asia. Almost done now. That's done. Pretty grey here, but it's late afternoon. And that's the direction we landed or came from, at least down there. That's going to be our longest taxi over to the gate. Petrol station in the middle of everything. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the airport of Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Please remain seated. On behalf of the crew, thank you for flying with KLM. We hope to welcome you on board again. And please, may we take this opportunity to wish all of you, on behalf of the entire crew, a very joyful and Merry Christmas and all the best for a prosperous, healthy and happy 2019. Thank you and goodbye. Some aircraft at the gates, Malaysia Airlines. Fatigue Airlines. <laughs> and it looks like we're already at our gate. Yeah, here we are at the gate already. So, Maro, we here. We're not going to film the disembarkation. We'll pick the camera up when we get outside the aircraft again, so that we can get speedily along out of here. And then we'll end the video off after we've collected our baggage. So we'll see you outside the aircraft again. So, I just got off the aircraft. Got that warm, humid feeling. The smell of Asia, let's have a look at the aircraft here. Yeah. Did you see the front of the, of the nose? Yes. Very overcast, yeah? Uh, so we, it's our orange plane, it's our orange pride it's called. Back in Asia, it's awesome. It was a little bit chilly on board the aircraft. Transfer counters. Baggage reclaim, so we go yellow to the right. We're just following Maro up to Kuala Lumpur. Somebody arrival. Let's walk. You want the travel aid? Oh, check the travel aid, so then. If we can walk, though. Here we have Kuala Lumpur Airport. We got to do a little arrival video at the same time. We've done one before. You can check it in our airport playlist. We'll do another one for just for good measure. leading the way as usual and as far as I remember we should be heading for a train now that will take us to the main terminal and then we'll get our luggage and we are going to take the train into yeah I think it's easier we'll take the train into KL we could easily take a taxi but the reason we don't do it is because it's probably rush hour now in the evening by the time we get into the city there'll be uh, a deadlock with traffic. There goes the train now, just to the left. There'll be a deadlock with the traffic, which will mean we'll be stuck in the taxi in the middle of the city. So we might as well take the train, which will take us right to the door of our hotel. Quite busy here in the airport. Perhaps we don't take the train, or what? Oh yeah, we do take the train. Very, very busy, as I said. It's Saturday here. Six minutes past four, according to the clock. I just passed by. There's a little duty-free shop. 
on my left. And I think the train is, yes, the train is just up ahead. So when we get on the train, Tandas, oh my favorite, Tandas. No, I can wait till we get to the next terminal. So right now, Tandas is toilets. I remember that from our last visit here in July, about 17. There's the jungle garden in the middle, Maro. We never put the video up of the jungle garden, we filmed it separately. Okay. You can smell oh, uh, spicy foods, I smell that. It's nothing. Oh, the, the plants, the plants or something. If there's something in the air, let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments below if you know what we're talking about. When you come to Asia, there's just a certain smell in the air. It's lovely. You know you're here. But anyway, you can go into that big jungle there in the center. And we're just about to take the train now. I think we must take the train here, Maro. I don't train too. Yeah, it's a train, huh? Yeah. I think so. So we've got to take the train now over to the to the main terminal. There's so many people here on the train, so we're not going to film the ride. We're going to be squashed into the train when it arrives. But uh, I'll leave a link down to the train ride. Uh, we have made a video of the train ride. I'll leave a link to that, and you can watch that if you would like to. Here comes our train, so we'll see you when we had our train ride. And the uh, package reclaim. So straight out. Yeah, this way. Lead the way, Maro. So that was the train ride, as I mentioned before. The link to the train shuttle ride, if you'd like to watch it, is below. It's the full ride from this area to where we came from. So we're just following the signs now <laughs> to the baggage reclaim area. Gates, Clear Express. That way, Maro. Baggage reclaim there. Ah, there you go. The same way we went last time. Oh, I'm just following you. Last time we were here in summer. Yeah, it's quite a difference. And here we go. Nice to stretch the legs. There's a clear express. Do we need to buy the tickets there already or would we just buy them downstairs? Uh, uh, there comes immigration up ahead. So I'm going to turn the camera off and I'll turn it on after we've passed through immigration. So we're back again. We just passed through immigration. Now we must go to the baggage reclaim as the sign says up there. Hopefully our baggage is still there because we've been stuck in the queue for quite a long time with the immigration. It took longer than usual. There were many people. Let's see where our baggage lane is. Where's the sign? Where's the, there's a sign there in the middle. Why don't you grab a trolley there, Martin? No, we don't need a trolley, do we? We just pull the baggage. So, we're just going to find the screen that tells us which, which uh, baggage belt to collect our baggage from. There's the screen straight ahead. And we're coming from Amsterdam. Where? Amsterdam. There it is there. Number H. H. Where's H? There. So, down there we go. There's a baggage reclaim area here in the airport. And we're going to number baggage claim H. See if we can. If it's already. Ah, there's one of them. Yeah, lovely. That's great. One, hopefully, all of them will make it here. We have our first piece of baggage. So, unique luggage covers. A little bit dirty as usual. Okay, we both got our baggage and now we are on our way out. We could have to pass through customs. 
So as we get to customs, I'll once again turn the camera off because we're not allowed to film there. And then I'll turn it on again when we get through. And we also have to exchange some money. We will exchange in the same place we did last time. We've already done one arrival video at Kuala Lumpur Airport. You can see the link to it. I'll put a link to it down in the description and, and pin it. If you want to see that arrival video, we're just doing this one for extra measure, just in case something has changed since we were here last, but everything looks pretty much the same. And uh, yeah, we're just going through the customs area now, so I'm going to turn this camera off. I'll be back again, just past customs. And now we're just going to exit the airport. As I said, we're not going to take a taxi because there's too much traffic at this time of the afternoon. We also want to rent cars, take tickets for the Clear Express, it's over there. And also some car rental places here. And here we have the arrivals area where we exit the airport now. And just as we come out here, we should be able to change some money. Travel fans are waiting. They're all our fans, yes, they're all waiting for us. Traveler, traveler, traveler. And straight out. Straight Maro. There, they're over there. Straight, straight, straight. Here we are, Kuala Lumpur Airport. Okay, so we're going downstairs. And from there, we got to cut. We got to buy tickets for the for the clear into Kuala Lumpur. We decided we're not going to wait for the lift. We're just going to take the escalator down, right down to the bottom. This is a model plan, so hopefully it works. So we have to go quite far down. So all we did was come down, and now I think that's the local food court down there in the corner. We were there last time. We were here in KL. Airport. It's a food. Did you see the food court? Straight ahead. That was a local one. Then we got one more down to get to the to the express train. Hopefully we can go there. I don't think it goes all the way down, Mara. Ah, around the corner. Around the corner we go, and there we have the Clear Express where we can also buy tickets into the city we've got to take the train into central station and from there we'll take our metro directly to our hotel it's a very convenient metro system here in kuala lumpur very efficient there we go it's the ticket office or you can buy on the yeah, mara's got to buy from the ticket office we got our tickets and off we go. Do you have my ticket so I can get through there? Oh, I only have one hand. Okay. Let's go lead the way. Through the green one. I was leading the way. Ah. There we go. So here we are on the train. We made it to Kuala Lumpur. Now we're heading for the city. We're going to end the video here. Thanks for flying with us. Thanks for walking through the airport with us. See you on the next video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And uh, yeah, don't forget to leave us a like also. See you. Bye bye. See you on the next video.